In this chapter, we're going to discuss uh, the synth model known as BAD. Uh, I gave it that name because, well, I think it sounds pretty awesome, uh, or BAD, or Radical, or whatever word you want to use. This one is a very uh, uh, virtual analog oriented program. Uh, it doesn't do not uh, a lot of stuff that uh, is, is groundbreaking synthesis wise, but I think it's got a wide range of sounds that it can make and uh, I think you can do some things that are, that are pretty cool. So let's go ahead and step through the presets here so you can hear what this sounds like. So let's start with organ one. Let's go to organ two. Synth one. Synth two. Synth three. Synth 4, hold on just a minute, let's turn the volume a little bit here. Synth 5. Synth 6. Synth 7. And Synth 8. Okay, uh, let's take a look now at the DSP. So, uh, first of all, this one is wired in reverse. Um, it actually starts in the middle of layer, we start with layer 2, we go into layer 1 and then into layer 3. I don't know why, uh, I just set it up that way and, and, and decided not to change it. So, that's the way it is. Uh, that being said, let's uh, take a look at what we got going on here. So, first of all, we have the PWM block, so this is a square wave with a variable pulse width. And we have the gain block after that, so we can control its volume relative to the second oscillator, which is here on layer one. So again, we're coming from layer two here. So we have a shaped saw, um, and, and this has a, a special function applied to it so that it won't alias no matter what shape you set it at. Uh, that, that, uh, I programmed in there so that um, you can, for the for the most part, it won't alias. There's a little bit of aliasing, but uh, it won't be too bad and won't be too noticeable. Okay, so shape saw goes into gain, and then those are mixed together, and we go into layer three, which is a four pole uh, Moog low pass filter. Okay, so in the next uh, section, I'm going to go ahead and go over the sliders and and talk about what this thing can do. Okay, so now let's go over what the sliders do uh, in this uh, model that I, I've, I've given the name of BAD. So first of all, uh, if I zero out the sliders, which I'm going to do here, um, I pick the first preset, I'm just zeroing them out, make sure SW is off and the mod wheel all the way down. If I play the keys, there's no sound. Um, and that's by design, again, uh, so don't, don't worry uh, if, if that happens to you the first time you start playing with this. Um, because both oscillators can be turned all the way off with these sliders here, D and G. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring up slider D and let's hear this sound. Okay, so that's going to be the uh, uh, our shape saw oscillator. Okay, now let's bring up slider G and take this all the way down. And now this is our, our, our pulse width um, modulated square wave. So with the slider E all the way down, um, the pulse width is very narrow. So you're not gonna hear very much because I have the filter all the way closed at the moment. So let me go ahead and bring this up. So there you go. So that's what that sounds like with the filter closed. Uh, I want to emphasize that the filter is closed right now, um, and, and, and that's why this sounds like, uh, very bassy. Okay, so let's go ahead then and open the filter. First of all, for filter control, slider H is resonance, and the mod wheel is frequency. So let's open the filter all the way up now. There we go. One thing I want to point out with slider H is that slider H will also lower the volume of the sound because when we start throwing in extreme amounts of resonance it can get pretty loud and so uh, so that's why you you 
uh, it's important to note that you can get a wide range of volumes out of this program. So some presets are going to be louder than others, uh, and it's for that reason. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring the resonance all the way down. I'm going to turn volume down just a tad. And let's open up the filter all the way. Okay, so now let's play with sliders G and uh, D and G again. So there's our sawtooth wave. There's our um, pulse wave. Okay, so now let's talk about what the other sliders do. Okay, so um, slider E, like I said, controls the, uh, the, the width of, of the pulse wave. And slider F controls tuning within an octave. Okay, so uh, let's bring in our saw oscillator, our shape saw oscillator, and we'll we'll take out this so that now all you have is the sawtooth wave. Okay, slider C it's fine tuning for the sawtooth wave and slider B is coarse tuning. And you have uh, two octaves of coarse tuning there. So between um, the sawtooth oscillator and the uh, pulse width uh, oscillator you can um, you can create some very uh, fine tuning differences for really sort of fat chorusy sounds. For instance, let's go ahead and we'll leave that there. We're going to go ahead and bring that up. Let's bring in our pulse. So they're right on top of each other more or less. Now I'm moving slider C. So you can get some nice sort of phasing effects and, and uh, or slight detuning effects um, by, by, by playing with slider C. So, so B and F have the same range. This is for the sawtooth oscillator, this is for the pulse width oscillator. And so, so they both have two octaves. Okay, so that's the basic sound of, of this synth. Let me go ahead and, and throw in some effects here. So, uh, slider I controls reverb. And the SW button throws in a distortion. Now this distortion uh, I actually designed to use uh, for emulating a, a sound uh, from off of one of Herbie Hancock's records. And so I feel like uh, it's good for adding sort of a vintage synth vibe. So let's go ahead. This is the sound without it on. So let's turn it on. So it, it fattens up the mid-range a bit. Um, and and reduces the highs somewhat, uh, and 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 gives it a bit more beef, which I feel like is is useful as far as programming synthesizer sounds goes. So um, you know, this thing was just made for the arpeggiator controls that I've added in here, and also for the the, the unison controls. So let's go ahead here and, and set up a bit of portamento. And let's go ahead and turn on the arpeggiator, and we're going to hold down the sustain pedal.
On that note, I'll go ahead and end this chapter, and in chapter 6, we'll talk about the next synth in the lineup called Blow.